Take a moment to close your eyes and take a slow, deep breath. Now open your eyes and tune in closely because what you're about to discover has the potential to transform your life in ways you might never have thought possible. I'm here to introduce you to a belief system that is so powerful. It can make your aspirations a reality in just three days. Yes, three days. You might be thinking this is unattainable, but what if it isn't? Imagine if you could attain everything you desire simply by believing that it is already yours. This isn't magic or a sleight of hand. It's the extraordinary power of your mind, and I'm about to guide you in harnessing it. For many years, I have delved into the complexities of the human brain, consciousness, and the quantum realm. I've witnessed individuals heal from chronic ailments, create wealth from nothing, and rediscover love when they thought all hope was lost. What was their secret? They employed the precise technique that I'm going to share with you. It all begins with a fundamental concept. Your thoughts shape your reality. Every single thought you have sends a signal to the universe. Imagine it as a cosmic restaurant where you place your order. The challenge is that most people continue to order the same unappetizing meals each day. They dwell on their problems, fears, and limitations, and consequently, that's exactly what they receive. But you are different. You're here because you are ready to embrace change and initiate a new order. You are prepared to craft the life you have always envisioned, and I am here to show you the way. The first essential step is visualization. Picture your desired outcome so vividly in your mind that it feels absolutely real. I'm not referring to a vague wish or a fleeting daydream. I'm talking about creating a detailed, vibrant image that engages all your senses. If you are dreaming of a new car, don't just visualize it. Listen to the engine's hum, feel the texture of the sleek leather steering wheel, and inhale the delightful scent of a new vehicle. Make the experience so real that your brain struggles to distinguish between this vivid image and reality. However, visualization alone isn't enough. You must engage in this practice consistently, multiple times a day. Incorporate it into your daily routine, just like brushing your teeth or having breakfast. The more you practice, the stronger the signal you send to the universe. Now I know some of you might be thinking, I've tried visualization before and it didn't work. Let me explain why visualization must be paired with an elevated emotional state. While your thoughts send the signal, your emotions serve as the fuel that magnifies that signal. Recall a moment when you were overflowing with joy, deeply in love, or bursting with excitement. Remember how that felt in your body? That's the emotional state you need to invoke during your visualization practice. Channel the joy, gratitude, and excitement as if you have already attained what you wish for. This emotional authenticity is crucial. Your body needs to believe in the reality of your vision. However, where many falter is immediately returning to their old routines after a moment of visualization. They allow doubt to seep in and begin to worry about how their desires will materialize. They glance at their current situation and conclude that it's impossible. That's why the next step is vital. You must live as though you are already experiencing the outcome you desire. What do I mean by living from the end? I suggest that you think, feel, and act as if you already possess what you seek. If you're picturing financial prosperity, start to express gratitude for the money you currently have. If you envision perfect health, treat your body as though it is already restored. If you're aspiring for a loving relationship, begin by sharing love with everyone around you. This approach isn't about faking or deceiving yourself, rather it's about aligning your energy with the reality you wish to manifest. It's about becoming the person who embodies what you desire. Because the truth is, you don't attract what you want in life. You attract what you truly are. Now, I hear some of you wondering, but my life is chaotic right now. How am I supposed to act like everything's perfect? And that's a valid concern. I'm not asking you to ignore the reality you currently face. Instead, I invite you to decide which version of reality you wish to concentrate on. 
every conceivable life scenario already exists within the quantum field. There's a version where you are struggling, another where you are thriving, and countless variations in between. Your task is to align yourself with the frequency of the reality you want to experience. Imagine it like adjusting the dial on a radio. You're not creating a new station. You're simply selecting which one you want to tune into. This is where belief plays a crucial role. You must firmly believe with all your heart that what you desire is not only achievable, but also unavoidable. This isn't merely about optimistic thinking or wishful dreaming. It's about cultivating a profound, unwavering conviction. It's about having a faith so palpable that you can almost taste it. But how do you cultivate this kind of belief? Through consistent practice and persistence. Each time you visualize your goal, every moment you feel the emotions associated with already having it, and each time you act as if it is already your reality, you are enhancing your belief. You are literally rewiring your brain to accept this new reality as your truth. But here's the catch. Your old beliefs will resist this change. Your brain is wired for safety, and familiarity equates to safety. So, when you begin to shift your thoughts and beliefs, you might experience discomfort, anxiety, or fear. This reaction is normal. It's simply your old self trying to hold you back to the familiar. Many people encounter this wall of discomfort and retreat to their comfort zones, but not you. You will push through because just beyond that discomfort lies everything you've ever dreamed of. Remember, every significant change in history began with a belief that seemed impossible at the time. The Wright brothers envisioned human flight when everyone else deemed it unattainable. Martin Luther King Jr. dreamed of equality amidst profound racial tension. These weren't idle fantasies. They were compelling visions backed by unwavering belief that ultimately altered the world. You possess that same transformative power within yourself. You have the capability to reshape your world and create your own reality, but you must be prepared to step beyond your comfort zone. You need the courage to think differently, feel differently, and act differently. Now let's discuss the three-day time frame. Why three days? Typically, that's how long it takes for your brain to start accepting a new pattern as reality. During these three days, you must be relentless in your focus. Each morning, visualize your goal right away and immerse yourself in the emotions of already having it. Throughout the day, revisit that vision whenever you have a moment to spare, be it while waiting in line or sitting in traffic. Use those intervals to reinforce your new reality. Here's the essential part. During these three days, eliminate anything that contradicts your new belief. This means no complaining, no worrying, and no negative self-talk. If a doubtful thought crosses your mind, don't resist it. Simply redirect your focus back to your vision. It may seem challenging, and it truly can be, but keep in mind that you are actively rewiring your brain. You are forming new neural pathways that will help this new mindset become your default way of thinking. It's akin to forging a new trail through a dense forest. The first journey is the hardest, but each subsequent visit makes it easier. I want to clarify that this approach isn't about ignoring reality or pretending problems don't exist. It's about choosing where to direct your energy. If you have health concerns, by all means, seek medical attention. If you're facing financial challenges, take practical steps to resolve them. However, don't allow your present circumstances to dictate your future. Utilize this belief system to manifest a new reality in conjunction with your practical efforts. Some of you may be asking, what if it doesn't work in three days? That's a valid inquiry. The reality is that sometimes the process requires more time. Change can often begin subtly. However, I assure you that if you commit to this journey and genuinely immerse yourself in it for three days, you will notice a shift. Initially, this shift might be minor, but it will mark the start of a completely new reality. Think of it like planting a seed. When you place a seed in the soil, you don't notice immediate results, but with consistent watering and the right sunlight, it will grow. Your thoughts and beliefs serve as the seeds, while your emotions and actions are the water and light. Nurture them 
and they will blossom into your new reality. Let me share an important insight. The true power of this belief system lies not just in achieving your desires, but in the person you become during the process. When you shift from a mindset of limitations to one of possibilities, and when you concentrate on what you want instead of what you fear, you undergo a transformation. You become more confident, more imaginative, and more vibrant. Suddenly, you notice opportunities where you previously saw roadblocks. This incredible transformation not only influences your life, but also radiates to those around you. Your energy shifts, and people respond positively to your newfound vibe. You become a source of inspiration for others, encouraging them to pursue their aspirations, creating a ripple effect that can impact your family, community, and even the world. I have witnessed this transformation countless times. I've seen individuals recover from chronic illnesses when medical professionals deemed it impossible. I have watched people build successful businesses from scratch and find love after enduring years of loneliness. Each time it all began with a change in belief. It isn't merely about material gains, it's about evolving into your most authentic self. It's about aligning with your purpose and potential, living a life filled with meaning and fulfillment. Understand this, you are a creator. You possess the potent ability to shape your own reality. Yet for most of your life, you may have been creating on autopilot, reacting to circumstances rather than intentionally choosing your path. This belief system is about reclaiming that power and becoming a deliberate creator. Now let's take a moment to think about something you truly desire. Something that could drastically change your life if you had it right now. Got it? Great. Now close your eyes and visualize it as clearly as possible. Make it vibrant and tangible. Now immerse yourself in how you would feel if you had it in your possession right now. Let that feeling saturate your entire being. Hold on to it. This is your new emotional baseline. This is the energy you want to carry with you over the next three days. Every time you feel yourself slipping back into old thought patterns or emotions, return to this feeling. Let it anchor you. Remember, your thoughts are powerful, but your feelings are magnetic. They attract your desires to you. Feel good now. Don't wait until your aspirations are fulfilled to experience joy. By feeling good in the present, you'll notice how swiftly your reality begins to align with that feeling. Now, let's address an important point some of you may be contemplating. Isn't it selfish to focus on my desires instead of helping others? That's a lovely sentiment, but here's the reality. You can't offer what you don't possess. When you are living your best life, fulfilled and abundant, you have so much more to give to others. Your well-being overflows, benefiting everyone around you. Consider this analogy. On an airplane, you are instructed to put on your own oxygen mask before assisting others. Why? Because if you run out of oxygen, you can't help anyone. The same principle applies here. When you prioritize living your best life, you inspire others to do the same. You will have more energy, more resources, and more love to share, thus becoming a force for good in the world. So release the guilt about wanting more for yourself. It's not selfish to strive for your best life. In fact, I would argue that neglecting your own growth is the real selfishness. The world needs your unique gifts and perspectives, and you can only share them fully when you are living in harmony with your highest self. Now let's discuss taking action. Some may believe that this belief system implies you simply sit and visualize all day, waiting for things to magically appear. That's not how it works. Yes, the inner work is vital, but you also need to take inspired action. The key term here is inspired. When you are aligned with your vision, living from a place of belief and positive emotion, you will feel impulses, receive ideas, and recognize opportunities. Follow these nudges.